Hello and welcome back to the Villa View. Today's video is a little bit different. Earlier in the week, Fancam's regular Adam Wright visited the BBC WM studios to feature on their football phone-in show. Here's what happened. <laughs> So we're here today to come and talk to the BBC WM people. It's a really good opportunity for me to come and push my comfort zones a little bit. Hope you really enjoy this behind the scenes look. Lovely stuff. I'm Craig Lewis and I'm the social media producer here at BBC WM. Adam got in contact with us actually and just said, um, you know, he's, he's raising awareness of his uh, of stammer. He sent me a few YouTube videos, so one was of the, his, chat, his chat on the Villa View. So I watched that and I thought, wow, you know, what an incredible person, you know, to, to sort of uh, talk about football, talk about the Villa in front of a camera, you know, you've got to have some, some balls to do that. Thank you to the Bill of You. Thank you for everything that the Bill of You have done. It's all been really good, really amazing. Um, and, you know, hopefully between the both of us, we'll continue to be able to reach people. Without, you know, them, none of this would be possible. They've really given me a good platform to be able to go out and reach thousands of people that I wouldn't normally be able to reach. I kind of went down the angle of his love of football and love his love of Villa and obviously as a radio station we, we love football as well so I thought actually it's a good kind of story to tell really about how football or talking about football has helped Adam with his stammer and, and build his confidence really. A lot of people just want to hear people's stories, especially on social media, you know, sort of self-authored stuff. So we tend to find the people, they, they come to us in this, in this case with Adam, and we try and tell their story. And, you know, um, my job is to try and get some of these videos on the BBC News website. And um, hopefully that's what we'll do with the, uh, with the angle of the football and how it's helped him with his stammer, really. Such a good character, actually. Um, wonderful personality. And, and meeting him today with his dad and his son, you know, you can tell it's a... It's really a fam family unit and um, you know he's doing his best to try and publicize um, lots of things about his, his stammer in terms of the, the help out there for people if um, if they're suffering in a similar way and also he chatted about the starfish project and how that's helped him with his um, his personal development so yeah a lovely guy and um, I'm sure we'll speak to him again at some point feeling it Excited, a bit nervous as well. A great opportunity for me, so you know, thank you to WM for giving me the opportunity. We've got anything to talk about the villa and raise awareness of Stammering's got to be a win, win, hasn't it? So happy days. Let's, let's, let's see how it goes. We've got to say hello to Adam Wright, who is a Villa fan. He's from Nuneaton. He's on his way to Villa Park tonight. But he's been in the studios here because he's making a film about uh, life with a, a stammer. Big win tonight for Villa. Got to be, hasn't it? Let's hope so. We certainly need to turn it around. It's been a very disappointing two or three weeks. We've only picked up one point after that Wolves match. So it'd be very good to get the three points. Yeah. I mean, one point in the last three games. Not good enough. After Wolves lost, you, you yeah. expected them maybe to have a blip. They've won three games on the spin. They won four of the five games in the month. It's exactly. Villa have gone backwards. Tonight, changes to the team. Do you want to see Codger starting or do you save him for the playoffs? Yeah, I would definitely save him for the playoffs. It's unlikely he's probably going to start these next couple of games whilst he builds his match fitness up I'll be surprised if he starts I think for me though I think maybe it's time for Scott to come back in and when we were at our peak in January 
February and he was the one who was linking up with Jack Grealish and everybody. And I, and I just think maybe it's the time to bring him in now. Yeah, yeah, lovely. Lovely. Okay, lovely. Thank, you. thank you very much for having me on. Much appreciated. Nice one. Thank you so much. Thanks. Appreciate it. Enjoy the game tonight. Cheers. I always drive home from work every night and I always have Frank seeing the football phone in on my journey home. So to actually be in there and experience it was a bit strange, really. So it was good. It was great to get on and uh, talk about. Hello, and also raise a bit of awareness about st stammering. That's always a good thing. So hopefully, some people might have been listening to it. Now, want to find out a bit more. So yeah, it was really good. It was a bit nervous, obviously, being live on radio. But like another great opportunity for me to push my comfort zones and do something that I normally wouldn't so yeah it was really good overall really really enjoyed it yeah I think whilst I was in there today my speech yeah it was a little bit ropey but it's not all about having perfect speech all of the time it's about getting out there and doing the things that you want to do and if your speech is a bit ropey well well, you know, it's a bit ropey, so at the end of the day, 10 years ago, I would have ran a thousand miles. I would never have done anything like this. And if I had and I'd have been forced into that room, it'd have been a nightmare. So, you know, at the end of the day, you have to think of it like that. It's a great opportunity for me. It's really helped me push again my comfort zones. Um, and yeah, what a great, really good opportunity. If you enjoyed that video, why not watch another? Click the video choices on screen now to go and watch them in full. Be sure to subscribe to the channel by clicking our logo there on the left. Easy peasy.